there because we are releasing the awesome power of God. I remember on Sunday when I released the awesome power, uh, I started talking and then I shifted over into tongues. And then God had me to pull out a particular scripture. And I pray that whoever he wanted to see that has seen that now. So right now, I never know what the Holy Spirit's going to do. And I love that about him. So I can do what he wants me to do. And I asked him to use me for his purpose. Um, so Holy Spirit, I want to release the awesome power of God. But if you need me to go somewhere, I am here for you. Praise ye the Lord. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, repentant of all of our sins. We repent for sins known and unknown, sin of word, thought and deed, and also secret thoughts. Cleansing us according to 1 John 1 and 9, your word states, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, we enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise, exalting the name of Jesus, which is above every name. We declare that Jesus is Lord over this day. Father, we thank you that Jesus is the Lamb of God who shed his blood for our sins and complete deliverance. Father, we also thank you that Jesus is the Word made flesh and you sent your Word to heal us and deliver us from our destructions. We also thank you for washing us by the water of your word so we can come forth as your bride, holy and pure. We exalt you, Father, for the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, making us your lampstand. We reflect your light and walk in miracle signs and wonders. Father, we come to stand in the gap and repent for all mankind. We have all sinned and fallen short of your glory, and we ask for your forgiveness. As we spiritually receive communion, the broken body, and shed blood of Jesus, we gain full power to war, battle, and overcome. We put on the whole armor of God and pray for every precious stone in our breastplate. The loss, the leadership, the body of Christ in the Jewish nation. We declare that you will deliver us from every evil work and preserve us for your heavenly kingdom. To you be the glory forever and ever. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, peace within their walls, and prosperity within their palaces. Father, we thank you for the blessing over our lives that you promised us for praying for Israel. We thank you that we all come in the unity of faith perfecting in Christ. We come to you as true worshipers in the earth, worshiping you in spirit and in truth. We purge our hearts and bring that perfect blend of heart motivation and attitude. We exalt Jesus, the apostle and high priest of the house of God. He makes this prayer and our worship perfect before you and leads us into your presence. Father, we come beyond the veil into your presence, worshiping at the mercy seat, your throne of grace. We worship you, Father, Jesus, the Lamb of God, and Holy Spirit in the joy of your presence. We exalt you, Father, and magnify your name and the name of Jesus in all the earth. We love you and we thank you for loving us. For thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah! To Jesus Delivery International Ministry Prophetic Bible Study. We just read the re we just released the awesome power of God within the broadcast studio tonight. 
I thank you for joining us. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I am going to release the Arianic blessings upon the broadcast. I did it earlier. If you tuned in early, if you did not, you will get your blessings right now. We are coming from Numbers chapter 6, verses 24, 25, and 20, 24, 25, 26, and 27. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will be blessed. So this ministry name is Jesus Delivery International Ministry. Jesus name is upon this ministry. It is blessed. Our anointed oil is blessed. It has been sitting at the altar and um, it sits at the altar so we can get it ready for our, um, our anniversary, our fourth year anniversary. We are, our fourth year anniversary will be June the 24th and 25th. It will be at uh, in Ashland, Virginia, the Holiday Inn, um, Holiday Inn Express Suites in Ashland, Virginia. You can see more about this on our website. That's www.jdiministry.org. That's JDI Ministry, and it's spelled J D I M I N I S T R Y dot org. Click on that. You will see the event page. It should come up automatically. The event page would give you all the information about the conference. Please register. I'm trying to get a count of the people that's going to be there. And we need to know so for what workshop you come in. We have four workshops within the two days and four speakers within the two days. I really like to know the workshops that you attend. The speakers I'm not too much concerned about uh, because I know everybody's going to be there for the speakers. But the workshops that we have, um, it is uh, how to start your TV ministry. I will be conducting that. The business of ministry, I will be conducting that. We will have the authors, uh, the authors workshop. I have two of JDI Publishers authors. They will be conducting that, and I will be uh, adding a little twist. They will have their books there, so it would be nice if you can purchase a book from them. And some of our other authors may be there as well. Uh, we will have etiquette and ministry. One of the speakers will be. Uh, conducting that workshop and she will be speaking on the first day. I thank you for joining us this evening. Um, tonight is going to be very interesting because God gave me wake up people and that's what he gave me when I woke up this morning and he told me to go to the book of Jude, J Jude and that's the book just before Revelation. It's only one chapter he aimed at verse 9, uh, but he took me back to verse 5 and end up 11. So I'm going to pray and just let the Holy Spirit take over. Because he's teaching this tonight. And I'm getting ready to learn something too. Father God, I come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ Yeshua. This is our prophetic Bible study class. And you gave me Jude chapter, it's only one chapter, but you honed in on verse 9. And then you took me back to verse 5 through 11. So I ask you, Holy Spirit, use me for your purpose, for the glory of God, to lead the people back to him. In Jesus' most mighty name, speak through my vocal cords, teach this class tonight. In Jesus' most mighty name, amen to the Father, amen to the Son, amen to the Holy Ghost. What I got earlier when I prayed and what I'm getting right now is 
prophetic. This is a prophetic Bible study. And the prophetic is what God is aiming, tuning in in. And he said, wake up, people. Evidently, we are going to sleep here. We're all going through challenges. It's a lot of death that's going on. And, you know, there's a lot of births that's happening, too. So, the old ones are moving on to glory. They're, they, and um, the newer ones are coming in. But it's still a remnant of young people, middle-aged people, that forgot about something. So, God said, wake up, people. Because he wants you to go to glory and not to damnation. So we're going to start off with Jube, J-U-D-E. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, and we're going to start off with uh, verse 5. And, my, uh, and I'm going to be reading the King James Version. Now mine talks about the doom of false teachers. False teachers. Let me move this on out of the way so I can have a little bit of room on this side. I'm not used to having equipment over here. I'm used to having everything on, on this side here. My music and what have you. Um, doom of false teachers. Verse 5 in the King James Version starts as follows. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though you Though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saving the people out of Egypt, out of the land of Egypt, after destroying them that believe it not. And the angels were kept, not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He has reserved in everlasting chains unto darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example suffering and, ven and vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of uh, diligence. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, thus not bring against him a railing accusing, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as beast in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Babylon, for reward and persian in the gain slaying of core perished in the gain slaying of core god is saying right here that we need to wake up he is saying that the people we have been taken out of Egypt we have been placed into the promised land and yet we going back and doing things that are not of God these are the false teachers these he's talking about the church here he want us to wake up and smell the coffee wake up and hear what does say the Lord. Stop going back to Egypt. Stop going back in the ways that is not of God. God 
took you away from that place. He took you away from that hellish situation. Don't go back to it. He has destroyed a whole city because of them going into uh, their own fleshly matters. Things of darkness. Uh, I went into Romans. Um, let's go there because he's taking me there. Wow. He's speaking right now. He's speaking right now. I, I, I remember going into the book of Romans. And the first chapter. And the broadcast got all messed up. Because God wanted me to tell some folks out there. That have given their life to him. Not to do these things. Now I remember years ago. Uh, there are churches. That are doing the things of the world. Uh, let's read. Uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 24 wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the, the lust of their own flesh to dishonor their own bodies between themselves verse 25 who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and serve the creation, the creator, the creator, the creation more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God twenty six, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women did change the nat the nature, the natural use unto that which is against nature and likewise 27 also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one toward another male with men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that Recompent of their error which was met. 28. And even as they did not like to retrain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a rep reprobate mind to do those things which are not con convenient. Now, in Job, God is talking here. And he's saying in verse uh, twenty, in verse five, he said, "I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believe it not." So you notice how I read in Romans how. They changed things around. They didn't believe in God like they did before. They, they end up at one time after they came out of Egypt and uh, God had freed them from the taskmaster. And uh, Moses was up on that mountain and he came down and they had built this calf. And they started worshiping a calf. And they weren't worshiping God anymore because they needed an image and not the creator. So God is saying, wake up. Stop worshiping images. Stop worshiping one another. Worship me. Or else he's going to destroy the world or the city like he did Solomon and Gomorrah. Now in verse 7 in the Amplifier. It states the wicked are sentenced to suffer. Just as Solomon and Gomorrah. And, and the adjusting towns. Which likewise gave themselves over to the impurity. And endurance in unnatural vice and sensitive 
perverted and lay out in wait a minute gave themselves to sensitive perversion and are laid out in plain sight as an uh, exhibit of perpetual punishment to warn of everlasting fire and we're going to go to verse uh, in Genesis 19. I hope you following me because I'm only being led by the Holy Ghost because he only gave me that one scripture. Genesis 19, we just halfway there, it talks about how Solomon and Gomorrah was destroyed. And uh, the first verse it says, And there came two angels to Solomon at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Solomon. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. So Lot knew who these two men were. He knew that they were angels. And so he, he bowed down to the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we're, we will abide in the streets all night. Verse 3, And he pressed upon them greatly and they turned in unto him and entered into his house and he made them a feast and they did bake unleavened bread and they did eat so the angels stayed with Lot because Lot knew how they were now I'm going to jump down to verse uh, 30 and then I'm going to go back to Jude, verse 9. And Lot went up out of Zara and dwelled in the mountains and his, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zara and he dwelled in a cave, he and his two daughters. So, I think I missed some stuff that... If you want to find out what really happened, because I, I don't want to go into too much, because that's not where the Holy Ghost wants me to go right now. But he wants you to read uh, Genesis chapter 19 on your own. Because that shows how Solomon and Gomorrah was destroyed. And he's trying to let you guys know right now because something is getting ready to happen it's a lot of things that's going on with the Christians right now and God is coming into the house of God into the churches first and taking care of us Christians because we are representing him and if we're not representing him the correct way then we will be destroyed because we're supposed to be leading people to Christ, not being worldly. And so he's saying here in Job, Jude, that remember that he took you away from that mess. And he want to bring get this back to your remembrance. And he want to remind you how he destroyed Solomon and Gomorrah for what was happening with them that wasn't that was not of God. The perversion that they were doing, the ways that they were uh, uh, men with men and women with women that was unnatural to God. He's saying right now he's getting ready to take care of those things and destroy those things because he is not pleased with the way that we are leading the people right now. And verse 9 is the key verse that he want me to go back to. It says, Yet Michael, the archangel, when 
contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, just not bring against him a relic accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke you, rebuke thee. What he's saying here, now I'm going to read the amplifier to get a better, clearer understanding. But when even the archangel Michael contending with the devil just, just, justly argued dispute about the body of Moses, he dared not pursue pre to bring an abuse, condemnation against him, but simply said, the Lord rebuke you. So the archangel did not argue with, with uh, Satan. He just said, the Lord rebuke you. God is not going to argue with you anymore. He's already given you his word. He's already told you the doom of the false teachers. He's getting, he's getting ready to demolish all the ones that are teaching against what he stands for. So get ready, people of God, church leaders that are speaking against the word of God that are teaching people against the word of God that you are male with male female with female in an unnatural way if you are doing these things God will rebuke you he will take you out he's giving you time to Repent. Repent for what you're doing. And you have to do it from the heart. Not from just speaking it. You have to speak it with your heart. Just like we getting ready to do Romans 10, 9 and 10. God is saying to stop teaching falsely. God is saying to teach the people the word of God. The true word of God. Come out of your sin. Come out of your mess. He's giving you your last opportunity. And next. He's going to start rebuking you. He's going to start cutting you down. He's going to start revealing you to the world. And he's going to cut you off. God is saying right now. To stop. False teachers to stop teaching the people wrongly he is tired he is tired he is tired and it's time for you to come out of your sin and do what thus said the Lord he has taken you out of Egypt you went to Sodom and Gomorrah and he will destroy your ministry he will destroy everything that is not of him that's trying to represent themselves as godly and they are not doing a godly work. He's getting ready to destroy you like Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's pray. Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Wake up, people. God is saying, wake up, repent, turn from your wicked ways, stop leaders teaching your people all wrong things, all the things that's not of God. Stop living in that sin. God is tired of it. And he's saying, come out of it, come out of it, come out of it now. He's rebuking you. Just like the archangel uh, Michael rebuked Satan, the devil. He is rebuking you now in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. He said, come out of that sin, repent, or he's going to destroy you like Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Read Genesis 19, find out how you're going to be destroyed because God is not playing anymore. Father God, I ask the people to have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the living God is saying on this prophetic Bible study night. I thank you 
I thank you. I thank you for your word. Wake up, people, because God ain't playing. In Jesus' most mighty name, amen to the Father, amen to the Son, and amen to the Holy Ghost. Before I leave, I am going to Romans 10, 9 and 10. God is asking you to come in. Wake up from that situation. Come on out of that mess and do what does save the Lord. Repent from your wicked ways and turn yourself back to him and not to the devil. Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you are here for the first time and you heard this message, and you have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the living God is speaking in your spirit. And you are ready to give your life to Christ. Read this scripture. This is a salvation script. This will save your life. You will not go to hell. You will go to heaven. You will be walking on the streets of gold. You will be with Jesus himself. But you have to believe. When you say this, you have to say it from your heart. You have to mean it. And God will take you home with him. Uh, Romans 10, 9 and 10, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in the heart that God has risen him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you believe that scripture, if you believe what you just said, you are saved. And you need to email me at ApostleJimmy at gmail.com and I will connect you with the right Bible-believing church. Not the ones that's living and giving false teaching, but the ones that are give, living and giving the true word of God. Let's give the Arianic benediction. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will be blessed. You are a blessed person for looking at this Jesus Delivery International Internet Ministry Prophetic Bible Study. Take this word into your heart, take into your mind, go back and read the chapters that I told you to read and go back and read Jude, uh, uh, that whole chapter and see what God is putting in your spirit so you can do what thus said the Lord. Tune in next Wednesday night with our prophetic Bible study at 7.30 p.m. I have no idea what God's going to give me, but you will if you tune in. On Sunday at 10 a.m., go to our Jesus Delivery International Ministry channel. If you are my streaming video.net, you can click on that and go and to find the channel that has a goal 2016 that is our jesus deliver international ministry we broadcast every sunday morning live at 10 a.m and then we uh we end up recording it so if you don't get it at 10 you can always get any of our pre-recorded ones and there's a lot of videos up on our pre-recorded ones that you can see i thank you for tuning in tonight and god bless you